So I see a lot of people talking about how ADA is falling behind and time is running out, like the market cycle is going to end any time right now. And what I have to say is we still have all the time in the world when it comes to ADA. You know, when we look at what ADA's done historically, we're very much mimicking what we've done in cycles past. You know, ADA's kind of a, a late market mover. It's when it tends to perform its best, when retail is excited, things like that. We've talked about that a bunch, right? But this is kind of a visualization of when I believe this bull market cycle is ending. I've talked about October of 2025 being, being the cycle top. We'll see if that ends up holding true or not. But what you have to look at here is look at what we've done in this early part of the market cycle. We dealt with obviously a huge correction after massive surges to the upside, and that isn't even close to the remaining time that we still have in this market cycle. We still have a long way to go by my account, somewhere around 14 months, somewhere in there. Maybe it's longer, maybe it's shorter, who knows, right? But the point I want to make is <clears throat> people forget how fast assets can move, all right? So we think that <clears throat> it may take a very long period of time, uh, you know, seven, $7, for example, may seem like a, a crazy amount to cover in a short period of time, a 20 X, right? And I want to remind people of what ADA's done in cycles past, right? Some of these moves for ADA, you know, two X moves, three X moves, five X moves have happened over just a course of weeks. All right. Sentiment during the early part of a market cycle isn't even close to what it is at the height of the market cycle. There is way more capital flowing in, even, even here, right? Even when ADA last market cycle ran from like $1.13 up to $3, there is way more capital inflow during this time, way more optimism, way more positive sentiment during this time than there was back here, all right? than there was back here during the early part of the market cycle. It, it is a, a huge parabola, right? Once you get going and sentiment starts flowing and capital starts flowing more freely, FOMO sets in in a big whale, in a big way and assets start moving incredibly fast. So I don't think we're in any hurry to get making these moves to the upside, right? Now, again, we're still kind of playing out per perfectly into our Elliott wave, our five wave pattern to the upside. Again, it looks like now, crossing my fingers, it looks like now we've kind of set our, our phase two, our bottom before our next leg, our third leg to the upside, right? Which should be our, our biggest one in this cycle. Now, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice, but when we get going here, this is this next leg has the potential to be the one that spans all the way into March. Now, this isn't, you know, there, there's no guarantees. Yes, there will probably be corrections along the way as you get uh, big movements to the upside. You tend to have big corrections along the way as well, right? This is the, the price that we pay for extreme gains is extreme volatility, harsh pullbacks, times where people frankly think the, the prices and the market are just going to keep dropping and dropping and dropping, right? Like today, for example, is a red day. Some people think maybe sentiment isn't great. But know that this week, like I've said in other videos today, we have a big week ahead, some positive, uh, positive times ahead, some positive sentiment coming. The market can only drop so far. I think people forget that, right? People are worried about things going to zero and ADA fading away and things like that. And when you have such a strong community like ADA has, people that frankly aren't willing to sell anywhere in these prices, me personally, guys, not selling anywhere down here you hold up the price, all right? There is less available in the market for people to buy at these prices, which is why, you know, despite our wick to the downside here, ADA setting a very strong floor in the range that we're at currently, right? This is, this is actually a very strong spot for ADA, right? When we look back here, hard bounce off this range, kind of setting up a strong support around this range. Today is kind of red because obviously everything's coming down a little bit, but you guys get the point. This is where historically ADA likes to load up did it back here, did it back here, did it back here. This is our, our range for go zone, okay? As always, this is not financial advice. This is not a guarantee, but know that even if it takes the full 14 months to get to the top, if we get there in an instant, if it takes longer, it doesn't really matter. It just matters that we get there. So I appreciate you guys, as always. Hope you, you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.